Psalms 56 to the chief musician upon Jonathan L. Reckonum Mitchum, which is uh, a prayer of David when the Philistines took him in Gath. So here he's in the hands of the enemy. He says, be merciful unto me. Because the enemy is not going to be merciful. I believe it's David's the one who says, let me fall in the hands of the, hands of the Lord and let me not fall in the hands of the man. Man is cruel. Oh God. For man would swallow me up. He fighteth daily oppresseth me. They want, and it's not literal, you know, chewing David up. They want to dissolve David so there's no more David. My enemies would daily swallow me up. So, man would want David gone. He doesn't say men, he says man. And then he turns around and says enemy. So there's a difference between the enemy and a man. There's a man after David and there's a enemies after David. And they both want David eliminated. For they be many that fight against me. The enemy. The enemy has many people against David. O thou most high, speaking to God. And what time I am afraid, now here's the cure for fear. I will trust in thee. People today, now today, they're fearing the coronavirus. Tomorrow will be something else. But they're not fearing God. They have turned their back from God. And the fear of the Lord is beginning wisdom. In God, let's, 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 let's put a joke here for a moment. May I joke? May I tell a ha, 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 ha? All right, let's go back to verse 3. What time I'm afraid, I will trust in thee and God I trust. Is that not what's written on American money? Ha, 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 
Even now, they're trying to get the Bible out of the prisons. They're making, they're trying to make it in Florida a law. And they may have done it. I have not been given up to date news about that. There are Christians today, and I've been, well, no, they're not. Yes, they are. There are Christians today that put more faith in Donald Trump and waiting for the Trump of presidency than the Trump of God in Jesus Christ. You don't believe me? Look at the post of Facebook and see what gets posted more. Republican Donald Trump, the bad Democrats, or Jesus Christ. You don't like what I'm saying? It's true. You're going to stand before the judgment seat of Christ. Or maybe you'll stand at the great white stone judgment, which I hope you don't. But David says, I will trust in God. Well, in God we trust. You know how many churches we saw Sunday morning coming home from church because of coronavirus? That parking lots were completely empty. I don't sound like you trust God in me. I don't sound like you trust God in me when the, when the churches are closed up. Don't give me a joke. And some of you don't like what I say. Some of you people don't like what I say about the president. Hey, listen, I pray for the president. I pray for all the presidents that are still alive and their families that are still alive for them to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. By the way, I have sent every president that had gotten elected in January, I have sent every president a letter and a gospel tract from from uh, uh, President Ronald Reagan. Every president from Ronald Reagan, and they were elected twice. I didn't send a, you know, a second one. A new president and came in January. I sent to the White House. I sent him a letter, and I got a chick, uh, a chick gospel tract. I've gotten a letter back from everyone but two presidents. Some of the letters I still got in my file, and some of them were lost. Two presidents did not write me. Obama did not write me. I did not ever get a reply from President Obama. And Donald Trump never wrote me either. I've got two or three letters. Or I, I think I've got one now. But I, I had two or three letters. I forget which Bush. I got that mixed up. The father Bush, uh, he wrote me. Uh, Reagan wrote me. I think there's a president. Well, ever since Reagan. Reagan got two terms. They wrote me. The only president that did not write me, and God we trust in America, was President Obama and President Trump had never written me. And I, read, I wrote the president of uh, uh, Bush about the, the, when we started the desert storm. I wrote him about, hey, what we need to do with Israel. We need to leave them alone. We need to protect them. We're in a Middle, Middle East war. And he, he wrote me back. And blah, 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 blah. But he wrote me back. He said, I have read your words. Why didn't Obama answer me back? Oh, I don't know. Why didn't the great Donald Trump answer me back? Oh, oh. In God we trust America. Absolutely crazy. How many churches do you got in a national city? Of different religions. In God we trust. For David, yes, in God I will praise his word. In America, which word? NIV, ESV, ESPN, RSV, PDQ, the gay Bible. Oh, take, take the, the masculine out Bible. The good news Bible. What Bible? I have been to stores. And I have found perverted Bibles in America. I have not found one King James. You got to go online to order a King James Bible. That's within five years. Within five years in America, I've seen a King James Bible taken off the shelf. I went the other day to a big store. I couldn't even find a Bible. Not even one Bible in the book area. In God I have put my trust, David. I will not fear what flesh can do unto me. And Jesus kind of went to this thing, you know, fear not what man can do to fear him that's able to destroy the body and soul in hell. So almost like Dave, uh, Jesus is quoting David here. 
Listen, this coronavirus, if I get it, I get sick, and if I die, I'm absent from the body and presence of the Lord. I fear the government what they're going to do. But I have an equal trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. He'll protect me. Protect me many times. I will not fear what flesh can do to me. And this is David where he told the Lord one time, he said, Lord, let me put, let me let you, because let not man, because Lord is tender mercy and man is cruel. They gather themselves together. Wait a minute, verse five. Every day, every day, they rest. That means to twist, exhort by violence, to take by force, wrestling, making the word wrestling, my words. They take what David says and they twist them. And that's exactly what they did with Jesus. They stood before the Sanhedrin. Well, I, I, I heard Jesus say this. Well, I heard him say that. Well, I heard that. No, wait a minute. I said, I heard it. And they couldn't get anybody to agree. They lied so much about Jesus, all the people that came in as false witnesses couldn't even agree on the false witnesses. Then one man or a couple of men walked in and said, well, I heard him say, destroy this temple in three days, raise it up. Yes, he did say that. Yes, he did. But not the context you're talking about. Wasn't talking about the building. He's talking about his body. Oh, even Baptists get that upset today. We think we're talking about the building. No, we're talking about the body. Even 2020, Baptists can't get that right. They rest the word of God. All their thoughts are against me for evil. They're thinking evil. They want ill of David. They gather themselves together, United Nations, the Middle East, the world, the media, the nation. They hide themselves, cowards. They mark my steps. They're looking to where David's going when they wait for my soul. Death. Death. Shall they escape by iniquity? Nope. In thy anger cast down thy in thy anger cast down the people, O God. And God, go get him. He's going to. Second advent. The devil in the final run is going to gather a group of people after the millennium. <laughs> God said, they're done. They're finished. Thou tellest my wanderings. And wanderings, you're just walking around. You have really no aim. Put thou my tears into thy bottle. They say, grown men should not cry. David did. And David says, I've had enough tears where you could fill a bottle. If not fill a bottle, half fill a bottle. Because if they were not enough tears, why would they say put them in a bottle? I'm not talking about one tear. He's talking about, hey, here's a container to hold my tears. And I've been through those tears. I've been through those problems. Are they not in thy book? That's a warning. Because if David is correct by the Holy Spirit, and Jesus said, every idle word shall man give account thereof. And if there is a bottle of our tears, and there's not written, maybe in the Lamb's Book of Life, but if there's not a book written of our tears, woe be to the people that have caused those tears. If you have caused someone to tear, to cry, it looks like God records it. I wonder if God writes next to that, this is why he did it. I would assume by the scriptures it would do that. When I cry unto thee, then shall my enemies turn back. This I know, for God is with me. Now that cry is not boo-hoo, which it could be boo-hoo. That's, you know, I'm just calling out to God. Both ways. 
In God will I praise his word repeated. And in the Lord will I praise his word. David don't have much of a word. He's got the law and he's writing the word right now. And we Christians in 2020, we have the complete King James Bible and how it is neglected amongst Christians. How even churches have defiled themselves with perverted Bibles. I had a guy today rebuking me, Yahshua. I told that moron, I said, hey, press one for English. Well, you know the Arabic language and, and this kind of language, blah, blah. I said, listen, I speak English according to a King James 1611 Bible. Don't give me that other nonsense. God has given us the English-speaking people, an English Bible. You know, if there's an if there's Hebrew words, if there is uh, uh, Greek words, he writes them in there. Eli, Eli, lama selecti. God says, I want you to know that get Greek word. Everything else is English. In God, have I put my trust? Now, that's a hearty heart hard for America, but there it is repeated. I will not be afraid what man can do unto me. There it is. Twice. Lord, they're hunting me. Lord, they're, 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 they're twisting my word. Lord, they're going against me. This is a man that's in the hands of the man to me. Thy vows are upon me, O God. What is the vow? He's going to protect that nation of Israel. He's going to protect David. David is relying on what God said. I will render praises unto thee. For thou hast delivered my soul from death. Many times. Wilt not deliver my feet from falling. That I may walk before God. In the light of the living. There it is. David's got victory in Jesus. Well not Jesus. Victory in God. 